Man, it's bright out here. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, so listen, I was trying several times to do a complete video, but I never got complete content. But now what I have is a whole bunch of little segments of, uh, of clips. Uh, talking about refinancing on the cars, uh, talking about the whole covert 19 thing and, and everything else that's going on. So uh, I think you might like it. Um, I'm gonna try to patch it together. I'll put the dates of when I film this so it all makes sense to you. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. It's a beautiful day here in the Carolinas. Um, I think they just told us to shelter in place. But uh, you know, I got all the woods here and it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I was just watching the news. This lady says, are the pawn shops and the gun shops going to be closed? And the guy says, well, that's not essential, so those will be closed. And then somebody goes, how about the ABC stores? He goes, oh, well, those are government, so they'll be open. <laughs> so we show where, where the priorities are. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> another thing is I'm going to do a video later on my grill. I got, um, I'm going to cook a steak on here tonight, but uh, this will be the last of this grill. This thing, the whole thing is falling apart. You can't buy the parts. I wanted to buy just another bottom part kettle, you know, and a couple other little things. And I, don't know, I, I just got one that never, so uh, I got one that I ordered from uh, Costco. It's going to replace it. It's very much like a Weber. As a matter of fact, the parts for Weber will fit on it, but the uh, the kettle part is thicker but anyway i hope you like it um it's all we can do hey i'm gonna get some videos of the drone um so uh, stick around later Be strong. Be strong. my own money and not really taking a loan because I thought the stock market was gonna puke which I was right about that but anyway what I was gonna say is um, I contacted this bank and uh, they gave me three I tried to get three percent but I got 3.1 um, 63 months so it's basically my payments gonna be the same um, there's the loan I have now, but I'm gonna lose about six months of payments. So I shortened my loan by six months, uh, at least six months, and, uh, and the payment will be the same. Of course, I could lower the payment if I wanted to, but my payment's only like 380 a month anyway, so it's not like a big deal. And I don't know that much on it, so. Anyway, so uh, just to let you know, sometimes when they work these deals out, don't fret it. Um, you can refinance the car like the next month and uh and do pretty good well it's a pretty nice day out here today it is 69 degrees in my little ghettoville town and uh it's really nice uh, we had some rain though i just opened my sun with first thing and a little bit of water dripped down on me so i'm gonna keep that closed for now i gotta wash this thing um Anyway, that's about all I got for right now. Hang on, I'll be back in a little bit. Hey, so I just got back. Um, Want to go over a couple things. Um, completely unscripted, so might be a little editing going on. Anyway, um, so when I bought the car, worked the deal out on the trade, 
best price on the on the car and all, and, and even got the four free oil changes and things like that. Um, got to the F and I guy, the finance guy, you know, and they try to make a few extra bucks, but you know, I grinded them so much on the price. Um, yeah, I'm sure they made a few bucks on me, but <clears throat> I didn't really argue too much on the financing. He gave me like, uh, what was he? 4.5% or something like that. And, uh, he wouldn't really go any lower. I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. We're going to refinance it. And he's like, yeah, that's fine. You could go ahead and do that. So that's what we did. Um, so basically I just called my, this is how easy it was. I called my local bank and I said, uh, yeah, I want to refinance my car. I sent them a copy via email of my, um, my, my bill, my statement. And they were able to get, you know, the payoff amount and, um, and all the information off of that. And had all the paperwork ready. I told them, I had to tell my insurance company to send the, you know, if something happens to the car, the pay, you know, the money to, to them because of the lien holder. Um, I go in there and I just signed the paperwork. I was in and out of there, maybe in about 30 minutes. Very simple. Um, I basically set the payment so they're the same as what I got now, but I actually lost a bunch of, lost a lot of, cut a lot of payments off. So instead of 72 months, I went to 63 months. We made two months payments. So, you know, I think that was pretty good. Um, so, um, I got, uh, 3.1% on the loan. So that was pretty good. Um, they, while I was there, she let me know about lines of credit that they got going on and home loans, you know, government's really kicking stimulus right now because of this coronavirus thing and all that. So if you got a high interest loan or a, a loan on your house or something, you think, you know, if you're thinking about refinancing, um, you might want to check it out. I'm not even gonna mention my bank because I think it's with all the banks. Um, they've got liquidity, they're ready to deal. So, um, it makes a difference, you know, um, every, every bit, every bit makes a difference in paying loans off. You know, when you, I don't know if you got a 401k, it always says, oh, you're going to have a shortfall in your retirement. If you just add, you know, 5% more money, 10% more money. Well, you keep moving that slider over and it doesn't seem to help. You're always going to have a shortfall. So bottom line is you want to increase your gains, you know, and when anything that goes out, uh, car payments, um, credit cards, things like that. If anything that you're carrying over a balance, you know, uh, you got to get the lowest, absolutely lowest rate. If they got any kind of specials going on, you want to grab all that. Also, I don't know if you guys are thinking about buying a car. I don't know if right now would be a good time. You might want to... Um, I don't think the panic is quite set in at the dealerships yet. I think it will um, probably within the next three weeks or so. Because, uh, you know, I don't know, it's, too, it's a double-edged sword. Uh, they got parts coming from China and things like that, so they can't really, some of the assembly lines are shut down. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think they get a lot of customers. People are uneasy. They are not buying cars. They're not buying houses. They might be refinancing their houses, or like me, refinancing the car. But nobody's buying anything new, so it's a buyer's market. Um, also, there's a sea of used cars out there. Uh, you go online and you see a price or whatever, that's a bullshit price, you know. That's what they would like to get for it. And you just knock 20% off of that um, and make that's the deal you should play with. Um, so anyway, I just hope, uh, hope that all helps out with you guys. I, you know... I see other YouTubers out there, you know, owe me in a Hellcat. I mean, God bless him. I love this guy, but I don't know how he buys all these vehicles. And the people I know, I've got some friends that are millionaires, multimillionaires. Um, and they, uh, I mean, some of them drive used pickup trucks, you know, old pickup trucks. They buy a new, a new one, but they drive them forever. Um, I got another friend who's a VP at a major bank and he's got multiple high performance vehicles, but he doesn't buy them new. You don't buy a new car. He buys them, you know, a few years old and then he sells them. He, sometimes he makes money on them. So, um, you need to think smart. A lot of people out here on YouTube are hyping new vehicles. Oh, I'm getting a new Corvette or I'm getting a new Mustang and this or that. 
Um, it's fun to watch. It's good entertainment, but you know, if you can't afford it, I see if you're working at Pet Boys, you shouldn't be, you know, you should be buying a $40,000 car. You, you just, you have just as much fun as a, buying a less expensive car and modding it and fixing it up, I think, than a new car and having the burden of the payment. I just hate that. When I was younger, I had a lot of nice cars. I had Chevelles, Camaros, uh, Firebirds. I, I don't think I had a loan. I had a loan on the Firebird, but I didn't take loans out on my cars. I saved up for my bottom. I bought cars between uh, two to six thousand dollars, and uh, I had a good time with them. So now that I'm older, I mean, I buy car. Um, I only took a loan on this because I thought I could make better investment my uh, on my uh, stocks, which I knew we were kind of getting kind of top heavy, and I thought about taking some out, and I did take some out. Um, to go with the payment on this car to is a down payment but I didn't uh, I didn't completely go all the way and then when this market got near the top I had pulled I had pulled sold on just about all my stocks um, then we started going down and I wasn't sure then I started shorting shorting the market I don't recommend you do that unless you know what you're doing <laughs> but it's kind of sad people are I mean so when you see the stock market dropping, and I don't know if you're into stocks or anything, but when you see the stock market dropping, a lot of people are doing options and they are shorting the living crap out of this. So just to give you an idea, um, going up, it took me months and months and months to make, you know, say, I don't know, 40 grand. Um, but uh, just a couple the dips though, oh my gosh, when I short, I could make five, ten thousand $10,000 in a day. You know, it's beautiful when uh, things go down really fast. But yeah, so what I'm trying to get at is uh, I saw the video from um, Tall Guy Car Review's brother. I don't know if you've seen him. Um, Officer Jones. And he basically showed, you know, the power of, of compound interest. By the way, I've got an audience right here. Um, the power of compound interest. There's a compound interest calculator. You need to look at that. So when you're you're working for a living, you say, geez, it's only my car payment's only five hundred dollars a month. Look at how much you can make at five hundred dollars a month if you put that aside and you uh you invest it. Especially right now where the markets are going down. I think we probably got this is not gonna be a V shaped recovery with this virus because I think viruses are gonna be a thing of the future here. Um, but a lot of things where people going on cruise ships and things like that, I think that's going to go away. <coughs> Excuse me. So I did get the flu. I don't know if you saw that video where I got in the van. Yeah, I got the flu from that person that was sneezing. But anyway, what I'm saying is it's low right now. There's going to be a little bit of a bounce. We were way over, way too high. The stock market was way too high. It was hard to buy stocks because everything was so overvalued. Um, but right now, uh, we had a huge drop. It, I think it's going to go down some more, but now's a good time to get, uh, get ready to get back in. Cause, um, I think we're going to have a little bounce. Plus the government's going to, oh, they're going to put the pacifier in there and they're going to be printing money and, and we're going to get, when they do that, you know, prices are going to start going up. It's going to start causing some inflation. So, you know, you see people with nice cars and stuff. It's fun to watch. But just get gets what's good for you. I mean, yeah, it's nice for a while to novelty to have a really nice car. Rent one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, John here. Hey, I want to talk a little bit about the economic impacts of this uh, covert nineteen. Um, you know, uh, you guys have been hearing a lot of stuff, but. What you might not know is the um, the markets have been um, artificially been inflated. They've been dumping money into this uh, the stock market um, like huge money. Uh, I think he's committed 1.5 trillion dollars. So I believe that is um, actually more than uh, what happened in 2008. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. So you know then 
combination with the virus. You know, the, our, our markets were ready for a collapse. This was just the pin that popped it. But then we had um, this whole oil war, price war between Russia and, uh, and OPEC. And Russia didn't want to play along. They didn't want to cut production. So now it became the other way around. They're both flooding, flooding the market. So we got a lot of frackers here that were highly financed through banks. Um, yeah. They need oil to be above a certain price. I don't remember what that price is. I thought it was $50 a barrel for them to be profitable. There's words that this could, uh, price of oil could drop down under like, you know, single digits. There's some serious crap going on. So. Um, I know y'all watching about the toilet paper shortage and all that, but um, watch what's going on with the money markets, okay? Um, so think about this for a minute. Planes, they don't really take, the airlines don't really take advantage of this price drop because their oil price has already been contracted unless they get new contracts to get this oil. I, I don't know, but my, my point is they buy it on a contract ahead of time. So airlines not flying, cruise ships not cruising, then them telling old people shouldn't travel. That's that's their bread and butter. A lot of old people go on cruise ships. They're the ones that have the money. So if everybody grabs hold of their money and doesn't spend it, not going out to restaurants, not going on vacations this summer, um, that means there's going to be a lot of layoffs. So I see a lot of people talking about, oh, I'm getting my C8 Corvette and this and that. I wouldn't buy squat right now, okay? Because uh, a lot of, you know, when people lose their jobs, they're going to be selling these high-priced cars. You're going to be able to pick these things up, pennies on the dollar. Be, um, be financially wise, that's all I'm going to say. So I'm out here on the highway, and I thought there wouldn't be anybody traveling around, so everybody is still cruising all over the place. Of course, driving slow in the left lane. But, um, yeah. I don't know how this whole hunkering down thing is going to work in America. Um, you know, you can easily do it in places like, you know, communist China. But, uh, I don't know, America, we're all kind of like have a FU attitude. Freedom. A lot of people aren't even believing this whole virus thing. So, and it doesn't really bother young people. It's just going to be old people. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on or why they're doing what they're doing or how long this is gonna last. So anyway, let me uh, let's see if I can get around some of these slow people here. It'd be nice if they stopped uh, writing moving violations for the time being for Corona purposes, right? <laughs> All right, later. So a lot of spend a yes. A lot of options very, very traders are making a lot of money. Him, that's why I was like, ah. Even every even the red fins were kind of expensive, but I at least like the fact Shopify is a leader on the year, and uh, not only is it a leader on the year, it's um uh, it covers earnings, so they they've been up a lot and it has those earnings. There you go. There's a red fins. Man, if we get in the money on that red fin and then the data comes out, that'll be great. UAL, Abbey Shopify, all in the low ticker. Hey guys, it's actually raining a little bit. I'm bored as shit, man. I'm going outside. <laughs> Gas is a dollar fifty a gallon. I'm going for a drive. It's raining though. That's what the bummer. Anyway, so anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. We're doing all right. We're having uh, food delivered through Amazon Prime, the pantry thing, and um, we had some got delivered through. Hold on a minute. We, we had um, Costco delivery. That was pretty good, too. And uh, I use hydrogen peroxide. I got it in a spray bottle. I spray everything down. Two minutes, wipe it down. You're good to go. Kills anything on there. Um, GPS connected. That um, CDC is not being honest with us, guys. Let me put this here for a minute. Let me put that there for a minute. You're not being honest with us, man. Told us we don't need masks. Na, 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 na. Listen, I think that's how you're getting it, is breathing it in. You go into a grocery store, you stand in line, 
you know, you're one sneeze away from getting a full load. So, um, I don't know. I think, um, and then they tell you you don't need all this and that. I don't know. Um, and here's the other thing, you know. If you don't have what you need, you got nobody to blame. Don't be saying, oh, I know people are hoarding. But uh, for probably for good reason. They're going to hoard. That's the way people are, you know. So, gosh, I look so tired. Um, i get my hair longer, too. Um, but, uh, yeah, you should be prepared. You should have one of those emergency kits for, like, you know, three months of food or something. Just put it away in the closet or something in case you need it, you know. So, that's the... That's the difference between a prepper and uh, a problem. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take a little spin here. Driving the rain. Um, I was I was chatting with a couple guys over in Italy the other day, but nobody, nobody was really talking much about it. I know a lot of people try to stay, you know, you're not supposed to talk about politics or anything on their ham radio, but... I kind of want to know what the consensus is. My uh, my personality is uh, I don't I don't really care about the rules. I just I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. In paradise here, so I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna take a drive by the Walmart. So I'm gonna see uh, see what it looks like over there on the on the hunt for toilet paper. See if I can find a roll. All right. So see you in a little bit. It's funny. I got a Challenger in front of me. And I got a challenger behind me. I like the white shaker. I was going to get a white shaker, but I decided to get the wide body. Um, yeah, you'd never know that uh, people are supposed to stay home or anything. Everybody's out and about. Look at all the traffic. But it is rush hour, so let's see. only wide body here. The guy behind me is in an RT. I think this is an SXT in front of me. He'll do a burnout. Hey guys. 159 a gallon. <laughs> I think it's like two and a quarter for a uh, premium but 159 for the cheap stuff. Oh my god, that's pretty good. I don't know what the mid grade is. I should go by just to look. But uh how's this guy doing? Um let's see. If anybody will stop at a stop sign. Yeah, 159, 208 for diesel. I got a full tank of gas though. I hate jumping into this parking lot because it's full of people that are get their minds somewhere else. Oh, not too crowded. I think the best time to shop at a grocery store if you're going to go in is uh, either the first thing in the morning or right before they close. So, uh, yeah. Interesting. Nobody wearing gloves, nobody wearing masks, nothing. So I gotta tell you guys something else uh, that the CDC is not telling you. Um, so when somebody <clears throat> spits when they talk or sneezes or whatever, you know, these little droplets, depending on the size, they came up with this six foot rule, right? And now that's just, that came up from, that's like outside. Inside, this stuff will go and float around for three hours. They can pull into the ventilation system. You know, that's like on the Diamond Princess. That's why those people got sick in their cabins was because it went through the ventilation. They actually checked the ventilation system and they found the virus in there. So, you know, um, yeah, you kind of need to, you kind of need to have a mask. That's why the people in China were required to wear them. But here we had this new other mentality instead of the people having them and pr protecting themselves from getting sick. I guess they just wanted you to get sick and they only want the healthcare people to have them. Which really makes no sense at all. 
but uh, I don't know. They're, I think they were afraid people were going to hoard them or something. So that's why they told you don't need a mask. You're not going to use it right. You don't know how to use it. Blah blah blah. Talking to us like we're two year olds. Anyway. I don't like going in stores and stuff. I have the I have the protective wear. I wear gloves. I got a mask and a glove. These goggle things. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna suit up and everything and do that just uh, just for a couple things. If I do it, it's gonna be a full shop. And uh, the, the thing to remember is how to take the stuff off. There's videos on YouTube how to remove your gloves, how to remove the mask, and you really need to read up on that. I see trailers, but I don't see a whole lot moving going on. I don't know if they they load up at night or what, but there ain't much activity right here right now. So. Interesting to know. I see one truck running. Anyway, um, uh, let's see, here's a baseball stadium here. Nice little stadium. I don't know, uh, wonder when that's going to open up. I heard they might uh, postpone the Olympics. I was kind of looking forward to that, and I know a lot of athletes were. I'm okay with postponing it a little bit, but, um, let's not, let's not go, like, years right we'll have to see what happens all right roads are uh, kind of slick so i'm gonna put this thing down so check out the windshield because i use the rain x stuff to use on the uh, car it also goes on the windshield so <laughs> pretty cool but yeah i'm uh actually i didn't use the rain x i used the um this is the turtle wax uh, ceramic. I did the whole car. Last time I did the whole car with the turtle wax ice. This time I did the whole car with the turtle wax ceramic and I'm uh, really kind of digging this stuff. Now, 
this weekend I'm going to do clean my wife's car and I'm going to use the um, I use the rain -X on hers and see how that comes out because I think her um, lava kind of wore off on her hood it's kind of flat and on the roof the side panels have still got it but uh, it's, that's typical for hers now with a white car it seems to last a little everything seems to last a little longer Alright, see you in a little bit.